G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die and welcome to Alpha 20, the brand new update that's just come out and that got me thinking, what better way to experience this new update than to come in hot like a rocket, like we've just had a bag of whiz fizz and go horde nights every night because what better way to put both the game and myself through their paces than to have a blood moon horde at the end of every day it's gonna go horribly for me and my general well-being but whatever that's what we're doing now so hey if you're excited for alpha 20 and that sounds like a cool idea to you perhaps consider giving a little tickle to the little subscribe button down there just saying. Anyway, with all that said and put behind us, this is a random generated world. The seed is Alpha 20, baby. Uh, I've just spawned in, completely stock standard, ready to get cracking on. Ooh, the game's looking pretty already. There's zombies trundling about. All right, let's get going. Grab our plant fibers for a bedroll, as we often do, and a couple extras, because they're good to have. Ooh, already got some interesting looking icons in here we've got the opaque white block of frame shapes i'm sure i'll explore you before too long but more importantly a new and improved bedroll as well don't mind if i do probably also a good idea to search the gubs around me as well just a box of rotten flesh you're now empty spoiled trash i relate to that on a personal level but it's okay we'll get through this together i'll cuddle you and you keep giving me rotten meat i'm sure we'll be okay an engine right out of the box I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Normally I'm scouring half the apocalypse for an engine. Gonna give you one out of the first car I'll look into. First thing I have a squeeze at, that's A-OK -okay with me. Quickly grab you, chuck you down. I just realized I don't have all the normal starting materials, like the food and water and torch and stuff like that that you normally get. So, okay, I throw half that stuff away anyway, so that's all right with me. Need to get some wood and some small stones. <gasps> You now tell me where to find the gubs? Or you told me to find the wood. You're not going to tell me to find the small stones, though. The stones are always the more difficult of the two. Maybe I chose the wrong one first. Oh, here we go. <gasps> yes. Okay, that alone is the best improvement I've seen in seven days in a long time. That makes it so much better. Not saying I always have a lot of trouble finding the small gubs at the start, but I've definitely had an issue or two over the journey. Quickly check this bird's nest while I'm here. Couple of feathers. I'll break it down for some extras as well. I'm just like, ooh, I'm all tingly about this. Alpha, I've been looking forward to Alpha 20 for so long. And now to finally have it in my hands and feeling as crisp as it does and as refined as it does. Oh, I'm just having a time. This is going to be a good thing. I can feel it. Please don't die on day one though, Josh, because that's going to be heckin' embarrassing. You might have to delete recording and never tell anyone about it. Here we go. Cross some of the new framey boys. I'm excited to see what this has inside it, because apparently this is now supposed to have, like, just all of the shapes. No more creative shapes and survival shapes. It's now... Oh, 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 oh. oh, that makes me salivate a little bit like I've just cracked open a fresh pack of burger rings. We've got a lot of stuff. Place a frame shape. You know what? I'm going to build this one. This looks unique. This looks fun. Yep. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, wait. Can I upgrade you? Does that... Yep. Okay. That counts as the quest. Nice. I like it. I'm so excited to have, like, interesting buildings again. Having access to all sorts of fun stuff. Oh, that's so good. All right. Well, let's make the campfire real quick. We'll start heading, heading over to go see Trading. And in fact, while I'm at it, quickly grab you. See if we can skewer a chook or two. Where you going? Get out of the shrubs. Oh, you disappear so easily into the woodlands. Oh, I'm so... Look at the roads. Look at the roads we have now. It's like a completely different game. Oh, you look different too. Can I get some easy XP out of you, please? Because I we'll kind of need it. Right about there. Not a great shot. Let's go with the club instead. Let's see if I still got the ability to bonk some noggins. And 400 XP a kill now too. Nice. Well, job done. Now I'll have to do is talk to Trady Potato. Or could we have a gander through your vendo as well while I'm yum? Sugar butts, I'd like to have you, but I don't think it'll work out for me today. Um. Ooh. Okay, broken workbench, broken cement mixer, and broken forge. You have no working workstations. That's a little bit upsetting. But then the question is, do I loot them now? Or do I save them for later when my loot stage will be higher? I've also got some other gubs for me to search as well. Anything in you? Take that. Take that. Anything else? A couple of bits of oil and some rags. Now, real quick. Oh, you've got some gubs behind you as well. 
No longer just the old bookshelf, but some equipment too. All right, now as good a time as any. What you got for me? Couple of bits of armor. Thank you very much. But more importantly, pipes. They've got a whole new array of pipe weaponry. So what have you got to... <gasps> no. Someone find me some broken glass. Now there's another stun button. There's another piece of shit in this game. I'd rather not, but thank you for the offer. I'd rather floss myself with you than chuck you down the dunny. That is for damn sure. But a pipe shotgun, that is my go-to. That's what I'm aiming for. I want one of those bad boys caressing my palms. And I'll get there before too long. It's dark as dicks in here. What you got for me? Okay, well... Come I think tomorrow. I need to get, get cooking on, though. Because daily. this is hauling every night, I need to get cracking and find somewhere to bunker down. So, yeah, all right. Let's just do a fetch quest. Why not? See if we can get some dollar redos and also find somewhere to hide. I need to find somewhere to make a base. Um, what? And you need to find a way to secure your base. You can't have mups cruising through your house, Jeffrey. That's not okay. The game has definitely taken on like a bit of a Modern Warfare 2 <laughs> approach. Everything's kind of like got like a brown tinge to it. You know, a little while ago when like all games that were coming out had like the realistic graphics just meant everything was brown for a little while. So I feel like it's been put to that filter, but that's all right. Oh, no, nah, you calm down. I probably should put the skill points I got Let's just try and protect ourselves the best we can. Let's just go Pummel Pete right off the bat. Give me you, as many Pummel Pete's as I can get. That one and that one. I can put some points into other things later. Being able to protect myself against the zombies is probably just a little bit more important than, I don't know, whatever else we'll dispense it on. That's a new looking barn. I mean, I don't know if it's you or not, but like the paint on the outside of it looks nice and fresh, which is unusual for seven days. Most of the time, everything is super dilapidated and awful. I'm just kind of keeping my eyes peeled though to see if there is somewhere, there might be a goer actually. If there is somewhere that I can use as an impromptu base for the horde when it does come around, because I'm gonna need somewhere just to funnel some zombies and have them all somewhere where I can smack them in the chops. Speaking of smacking someone in the chops, can I actually make a shot? We aren't fine. Fine, we'll just pretend it never happened. It's fine, I just lost my arrows somewhere. Don't ask where they went. I definitely didn't whiff all of my shots. And a wheel? What is going on here? How am I getting such good loot? I feel like the gods of seven days are taking pity on me, which is gonna mean they're gonna kick me in the dick before too long. This is my stop. I don't know how far, I don't know what like how the grounds of the POI are, whether it actually reaches all the way to the road or not. That's something I have to learn about the new generation. Uh, but I do wanna make myself a quick little storage chest, just because I'm pretty full on gubs at the moment and having some extra storage space would be a good thing for me. Oh, look at that, buttery smooth, absolute butter. Take that, you can hold on to all of that for me. I'll keep you, the rest of you guys can just kind of hang out. And I'll take you actually, because if I can find the rest of the gubs to make that shoddy, yes, I need the ammo for it. I mean, a pipe machine gun looks pretty sick as well. It looks like a bloody, um, what was the, I can't remember the gun. For some World War II gun looks like that. Someone remind me what that was, because I can't remember. Um, but I want one of these bad boys. Yes, I need the ammo, but I'm hopeful. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling tingly. I'm ready to rock and roll. Oh, I recognize this place. This has a landmine in the kitchen. I know that much. Now, I've only got four arrows on me. So wasting a couple to try and pop open a couple of cabinets might not be the smartest play, but I do want to get some stealth shots. So screw, ooh. No, you're not a spider zombie anymore, are you? You're the old spider zombie. There's new spider zombies now, which are terrifying, but we'll see those later on down the track. Running out of arrows, but that's fine. Quickly murder both of you guys. Can't go ball to gate this early on, because then zombies will go ball to gate in my face. The landmine's not where I thought it was going to be, which does nothing to calm my senses. It just makes me freak out a little bit more because now I don't know where the hell it is. Don't know where you are, though. Come on. Come on. Hit you once. Hit you twice. Do a cheeky tea bag. Oh, it's a good old Halo days and sort you out for good. Anything else around here? Doesn't really look like it. It's real dim. I'm really going to need that helmet light before too long so I can just see what the hell I'm doing. But I don't need to see much to go rifling through old Mated Potatoes' possessions. They may have been yours once, but you may be aghast by this, but that's okay. I'm taking all you got. 
Got myself some rations. That's going to do me nicely. Can I still peek through the cracks? Yes, I can. Spoil trash. Some more wood. I definitely feel like the variety of the gubs you get out of the trash now is well, not more consistent. Like, more consistently random, I think is the words I'm looking for. Got myself a cheeky froth. I'll have to get all my normal mods installed in a little bit once it's a bit more stable and get the correct naming going. Uh, but yeah, I definitely feel like I'm finding more random stuff in the trash as opposed to like finding the same five things over and over again. Bando is good for me in case I start bleeding out at some point, which I like. I like finding random stuff. It feels more immersive. Another pipe. There we go. Edge and ever closer. Two more of you, some glue, and I got the wood. Oh, I can almost feel it in my hands already. Got our first zombie loot and found 34. Oh, that's gonna. That might be important, actually. 34 rounds of 762 and another froth. I'll take that. That's all empty. That might be important for what gun I decide to make. Because if I have no shotgun ammo, don't need lead for the moment, actually. If I have no shotgun ammo, but I do have 762, I assume I'll make the machine gun. That probably goes hand in hand. But in the meantime. I'm living pretty close to the desert, and, um, I mean, the skirt's got better heat resistance. I can feel that lovely breeze caressing my todgers, so I think that might be the way to go. Uh, I will take that lovely pink dye, though. Give me you. Change over. Grab the skirt and chuck it on. I'm manly enough to wear a skirt. Let's do it. You can paint a tart and then call it manly as shit, but this will do for me for now. Uh, you have worse heat resistance basically the same but considerably better on cold resist so all right i'll scrap you and scrap you nice let's keep on cracking it's already 1 p.m i don't think i could fight a horde here i could try if i really had to but i don't particularly want to oh i might need to find somewhere better pretty quickly um I didn't notice that. I took that bloke's head off. I shot him in the chin. I took his head off as well, but it was, I wasn't playing football, but that's for sure. Wasn't kicking around on the toadstools. I'm okay. I'm very curious about how I can make that happen more regularly. Why wouldn't I want to have like a bunch of trophies, like the goddamn predator of all of my victims' skulls? Why wouldn't I want that? I can stick them on the fence post outside like a gruesome picket fence to ward off any other clowns that might think they have a chance against me. I'm all right with it. I need to find some more zombies, see if I can uh, decapitate them too. I'll take you. I'm just scrapping paintbrushes for the moment. I don't need a paintbrush right this very second. Uh, that's right. It's in the garage. That's all good. Yeah. I'm real curious now. Is there a perk where I can, uh, can de uh, decapitate more people? Because if there is, I'm all about it. That's a new looking box. That's very exciting. It's going to make this bit easier for myself and quickly pop open the block next to them. They may be, uh, you know, super smart structural engineer zombies, but I can still get them trapped in the doorway and start throwing hands, or in this case, throwing planks. Come here. There you go. Are you okay? What are you... What are you... Are you teabagging your friend already? Are you getting your nuts all over my glory kill before I ever had a chance to? Like, I'm all about tag teaming, but... Ow! All right, now we are tag teaming. Apparently, he's got the back and I've got the front. Give me a heads up next time, though. That was a rather unfortunate situation to find myself in. <laughs> I don't, don't know what you're doing, but I'm all about it. Here we go. Open up. No stumbles. Sit you down. Yeah, now who's on their back? I am the champion because I finished last. All right. Well, what are you? Rando wooden crate. Give me you. What you got for me? Oh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Couple of first aid bandos and some shotgun ammo. Don't mind if I do. Give me all the ammo. I'll make the decision later. Search the working stiffs. What you got for me? Still a sludgy part and some cobble. Uh, not much in you. That's fine. I'll scrap the cobble. Ooh, do I want to scrap the cobble? I might need that to reinforce a house at some point. It's not a bad idea. You're a thing? Oh my goodness gracious gosh. Is that how they're going to be able to, like, leave POIs now? No more random, like, hidden vaults in the dirt that you can just, like, try and cheese your way through? There's now, honest to goodness, doors to let you out of there? I like that. I like that. There are so many changes now for 20 that I'm already keen as a bloody bean for. 
That's so good. That's so bloody good. All right, let me quickly sort you out. Take a swing, take a miss, take a club to the face and, and then some. All right, half past two. I'm overloaded. In fact, oh wait, I almost left the POI. Oh, <laughs> that would have been bad. I need to get the supplies first. First quest of the new alpha, no, I already binned it almost. That's uh, that's not great by me. There we go. Now we can leave. Now we're good to go. Did I search you yet? No, I didn't. Couple of extra gubs in there. All right, so is that the house I'm gonna to wanna to try and find a hoard in? I don't think it's gonna be, but uh, I might have to revisit that when I come back in a moment. Give me you and you. Uh, did I leave any arrows in here at all? I don't think I did. All right, uh, interesting. Hopefully, old mate's gonna give me some glue as a, oh, you're a new looking bozza. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you're looking real talented. You look really bloody cool. I don't know who you are, don't know what you are, but you're looking pretty randy. Come on. Come on, if you're randy, I'll give you all the nobbly wood that you need. Oh, wow, you're real flexible too. I appreciate how much your back's arching there, big boy. Nope. Nope. Come on, stamina. Stay with me. There we go. Oh, where did your noggin go? Did I punch it down into your esophagus? I knew you were going to gag. But that's a bit excessive. I think what I'll try and do, I th that barn is calling to me. That barn is speaking sweet nothings and nibbling my earlobe a little bit. So I think I'm going to try and get to Trade Potato Handy in this quest. Uh, I don't think I'll take another one right away. 15.1.9. Okay, you're definitely worse. I'll scrap you. I've now got a pink hoodie and a pink skirt. My outfit is matching. Now all I need is to accessorize and really make my eyes pop. Uh, but I'll turn to this quest. I don't think I'll get a new one. And I'll go and do that barn. Unless, actually... So that's... Ooh, which one was it? Was it this one? Was it that one? I'm all turned around. I think it's this one. So you're, what, 200 meters away. If I can get a job that's at that barn, I'll take it. I have to clear it out anyway to live at it. But otherwise, I think I'll just let it go and deal with that issue tomorrow. So no glue, which is a shame. Did give me $330 reduce, though. Maybe I can buy some off you. But you're going to give me a spear book or a ranger's book. I'll take the archery book because I usually rely on that pretty heavily. Um, none of you seem particularly close by. Maybe this one? Task for you, Old shooter. No, that's Give not the one. Ready. What else you got? Buried supplies. Clear I've zombies is the not the one either. In fact, that's actually an interesting quest. I'll keep that and just do it tomorrow. Brilliant. She is knackers. Do you have some... Oh, you do have glue. Okay. I need two glue. Buy that. And then I need... Do you have any pipes? You don't have any freaking pipes to do ya. No, they're the wrong kind of pipes. <laughs> it's a different kind of small pipe. Damn it. What about your secret stash? Anything exciting in here? You've got some uh, expensive pistols, some mods. No short iron pipes. Oh, okay. Thank you, kind sir. That's all right, though. I got the glue. The glue was the hard part. The pipes are relatively simple to come by. Pipe shotgun. Uh, oh, I need just two more. Two more. That's definitely doable. Let's go have a gander through the old farmyard. See what it's got. I might have a pipey shotgun before too long. If I've got the pipey shotgun, I can do anything. I can take on the world. Oh, <laughs> oh me giblets. It's sizzling right now. Four pipes in that trash right there. I'll read you. I'll make myself the shoddy. I, if I find a cu another couple of pipes, I might myself the machine gun as well. In fact, yep, give me both of you. I'm going to quickly head back into tradies and buy two more glues. Because if I can have a machine gun and a shotgun for Horde, we may be sitting relatively pretty. I feel like that's a worthy investment of my limited funds, but I am all bloody about it. Glue, give me some, give me two. I'm now down to basically nothing, but it was definitely worthwhile. And because for once in my life, the tradie actually had something worthwhile for me. Nah, nah, never mind. I was going to defend your house, but I got bigger fish to fry. The hall's not too far away. I'm going to find somewhere to bunk it out. I just found another glue in a, a random piece of garbage on the ground. So if that's how it's going to work, that like you can find all that you need to make the pipe weapons just in garbage on the deck. That's really cool. So I've, what have I found? I found lots of wood in assorted trash. I found pipes and I found glue. So I know they're all in the loot system. That's really good. So like it incentivizes you to go around and pick up all the garbage on the ground. You can de the apocalypse. You can do good by the planet. So when the zombies all die off or when you're me and you massacre them all, the planet's in a better place at the end of it. 
I'm in. I'm keen. Let's do it. I'll search the big house in a little bit. I just want the barn. I can see something up the top, but I just want to have a squeeze through. Oh, that was a big lag spike. Through whatever you've got going on here. Let me in, please. Let me see what's inside you. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Oh, I should go get that shotgun ammo. Uh, I'll do it in a bit. Clear the building first. We can do that with just the bow. With my one arrow, maybe not. All right, you know what? I'll go get my gubs then. I'm going to need it. Just going to leave some of this stuff behind. Actually, I'll take that egg in case I do find a bacon or the eggs recipe. All this stuff is important, but not right now. So I'll leave that behind. I've just got a little peckish. I'll go like this. I'll go that. And I'll mark that as a box for later. So I don't forget the gubs that are inside you. I didn't leave any food behind. Um, I don't want to crack her rations just yet. You don't have a chance of dysentery, so all right, let's smash down some cheeky soup. Slurp it up like you got a thick old straw. I got time. I got time. It's <laughs> man. I haven't played Horde every night in a long bloody time. I've forgotten how stressful it is. This is a this was a bold decision to come in hot to Alpha Twenty with this series going on, but I'm here now, so I got to get it cracking. Oh, this could go. This could get real dicey. This could be really interesting before too long. And not in a good way for me at all. Oh my go- Oh my goodness. Alright. We've got a couple of issues coming for us. By a couple of issues, I mean lots of them. I should reload my shotgun. Probably a bad idea. Give everything that's coming for me. Oh, please move. That's a really, really long reload. Alright, well. Let's just try and do this relatively smartly. Try and not use... Oh, get wrecked in one. Putting all my points into uh, Pummel Pete is going well for me. Excuse me. That's the new Nancy. The new Nancy nurse. No longer the Halloween nurse. It's a regular looking nurse. Had to go a power stroke as island would get a little bit too close. Uh-oh. Nancy's mad. Oh, they're both mad. Arls. Owls, no, I need you to stop, Arlene. Look, I know we've had our history. I know we've gone a long way together, but you've got to just calm down a bit. You've got to just relax. It may be cinematic as shit right now, but I have serious issues on my plates. Oh, man. Whew. It's getting intense. In fact, you know what, Arlene? Listen, I may have treated you too harshly. I heard the cowboy has disappeared on you. You disappeared on me for the cowboy, and I had to move on to Chels. Chels moved on without me as well. They're now out of the game. There's no more cowboy, and there's no more cheerleader. So you've been abandoned. I've been abandoned. Maybe it's time we bury that old zombified hatchet owls and patch up our love affair. Maybe it's time we, uh, you know, resume that fire. Activate metal key rack. Oh, awesome. So now you can get a key to unlock the doors? That's so cool. All right, I think that that's going to go back to the house across the road. So less keen on that one. Uh, no one in there. It's real bloody dingy in here. I can't really see much of a sausage at all. There's a kennel, which makes me nervous. I really don't want to fight a dog, but I've got the shotgun. But given the excessively long reload speed on that, it's probably not... A viable option against whatever decides to come for me. Speaking of viable options, is this place act oh my <laughs> Okay. Uh is this place actually viable as a place to fight a horde? So far, not looking especially likely, but I can put some frames across here and give them an option up the ladders and over the top. And we might be alright. Getting a bit peckish again. That's alright. Got lots of loot for me here. Let's see what we've got on offer. Opened up all the boxes. Scrap you. I've got a little bit of space, but not much. What's in the electrics box? Oh, gross. Nah, just, just nah. Listen, I may be desperate and a couple of minutes away from having my organs rearranged by a zombie horde, but a man's going to have his standards. No one's using stun buttons. It's just not a thing for anyone. I'd rather scrap you for a couple of dollary doos instead. So you might actually be a little bit worthwhile to us. There we go. There's a schematic for it. Uh, sure, I'll read about you so I can scrap you better. Read that one. Read that one. Couple of books right off the bat. Don't mind if I do. Ammo pile. Ooh, some more shotgun ammo. Thank you very much. The only thing that I am a little bit worried about. Ooh. Oh. I'm sorry, what? I thought you were delayed till 21. Um, I have a friend. I have a little friendly droney boy. How do I use? 
Look Power at you! Up. All systems go. Are you even talk to me? Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. It is a pleasure to serve. I can even shove shit inside you. Oh my goodness. I just want to be your bestest friend forever and ever. I don't even know if you fight for me, but your whole loot and what better friend do I need? I can't unlock you. Can you just like zap that a little bit? I can't believe I have a little friendly droney. I have a little friendly droney. What am I going to call you? I don't know. What do you guys think? Someone tell me in the comments what you think I should call the, the robot drone. Because I am all about it. It's getting a little late. Are you just going to follow me? You are. You oh. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I have my best friend by my side. We're going to go on so many adventures together. You and me, little robot drone. Oh, it's like we need like a theme song. You and me, we could be like a children's cartoon. Admittedly, probably not a children's cartoon. Maybe like a late night one on Adult Swim or something about that, like that. But, oh, it's so good. Here, can I go you? Ready for Here, hold this for me. Oh, you freaking superstar. Pat, 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 pat. You deserve all of the pats. What a good little robot. Because we're the two best friends that anyone could have. A we're the two best friends that anyone could have. <laughs> Just, I don't think you understand how keen I am. Now, I don't know for sure... But I think I need to actually upgrade the blocks for it to act as a path for zombies. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't had a chance of testing this stuff yet. Like, eventually, I will be going into Zerudal Park to test some of this stuff out to see what is available and how it all works. But for the moment, I'm coming completely blind. So I'm just as curious as you all might be. Give me that one. And I'm just going to go... No, I'm not going to go like that, actually. I need to have... Is there like... Oh, that one might do. Centered? No, no. That one might do for me. Is there even potentially like a little triangle quarter block if that was cut in half diagonally? There's so many options now. I don't know what they're all called. I just need to find the ones that I need. Oh, we can now have the... Are they even the quarter arrow slits? We have everything. We have everything. Oh, I'm going to have such a time. I might just turn the zombies off and just build. There's so many options to build now. That's what I needed. That looks like that might work for me. Give me advanced rotation so you can go flat along the deck. Like that. I'll start with just one and then we'll work from there. Huh, go across to that one. No, can't put something there because there's something blocking it. That little nub on the end. That little chode is getting in the way. Quickly break you down. I'm standing on the limb I'm currently trying to break, which may not be the smartest move in the world, but we'll see how we go. Got an hour to go before the horde. <laughs> this might be dicey. This might be a travesty, but let's see what the game throws at us before we start throwing babies out with bathwaters. Can I, like, strap... I have a torch somewhere. Can I just, like, strap a torch to the drone so we're going to light my way for me? If that's a thing in this game, I am <laughs> very excited to have it. Because, yeah, look, I have a torch in here. I don't need duct tape, admittedly, but if I could just, like, strap you right in the center of the guts there... All systems go. How may I help? In fact, can, can I just like, is there like a, an option for you? Quiet, quiet mode? Interesting. Stay here. Storage, take, enter code, lock. Okay. Fair enough. I'm a little bit dehydrated, so I'll slurp on down some yucca gubs. But I think we're okay. I have a bit of a path over here. So the idea being, that if they do try and come across here, um, I can bonk them and hopefully they'll get groupy and slide off the side. Let's go that one, I think, will be a good option. And just try and stick you um, across like that. Although the problem I'm thinking about is potentially they might see this as a blockage to their path and they might not try and get through. I don't know. Only one way to find out though. Put you like that as well. Uh, quickly upgrade you so you actually exist. Like that and like that. Alright, got half an hour till. Is this even going to work? It may not. I don't have any cobble because I scrapped it to make some stones. Uh, I might live to regret that one, actually. A little bit of cobble right here would not go astray. Is there any downstairs? Oh, a bit of lag. I don't think so. I think I'm just stuck where I am. I didn't quite get the short iron pipes that I need to um, make myself, uh, what's it called, a machine gun. So it's going to, going to do without it for the moment. So you can hold on to that. So you can stay with me. Uh, I need the wood back as well. Although I don't think I have quite enough to put any more boxes down. It's just going to have to be what it is, I guess. There's nothing about it looks like it might give me some short iron pipes either. A little bit upsetting. We'll find some tomorrow though, I hope. 
Yes, I know you're hungry. Hang on, look, I've got some snacks. I've got some fluids. I've got the whole buffet sorted. All I need you to do is not be a buffet for the zombies in seven minutes. Oh, this could be real dicey. I have no idea how this is going to go. I am nervous. Oh. Oh, that's way creepier. That's different than it used to be. That is a different sound for when it all kicks off. All right. Enemies, prepare for conflict. Oh, thank you. Pat, pat, pat. <laughs> it might be the last pats you ever get, but we're going to try. Uh, okay. Well, I was kind of hoping that would go to the ladder and then up and around and up like that. Not just fall over themselves trying to get to me. Uh, I might need to reconsider some things. I need to figure out how to get down to them, but keep myself safe. I do wonder, actually, have I just blocked it off? Like, is this now class as a blockage that they won't try and path through it? Or is it ladders that they're having the problem with? Only a couple I need to deal with. All right, let's go over to here. It may just be the ladders. Oh, God, it's so dark. You can't see anything. It may just be the ladders that they don't want a bar of. Maybe they can't climb ladders anymore. I mean, I'm okay with it if that's the case. Can one of you come out into the open, though, so I can try out my shotgun, please? I'd very much like it. I need to turn up the brightness. If I can't see anything, you guys can't see anything. There we go. That is considerably better. There you go. Jump up. Ooh, that sounds meaty. I like it. But if you guys are going to keep playing like little hopscotch down there and jump on top of this box, this could be my killing box. Oi. No. Buzz. Can't. Over here. My senses have picked up something. <laughs> Okay, listen, I'm aware there is a sea of zombies underneath me. I'm trying to figure out what to do about them. Just give us a tick, love, and I'll be all right with you. I appreciate the heads up, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there, all right? I don't trust myself to try and take pop shots of these clowns because I'll miss and waste my ammo. I need a certainty or nothing. There you go. Another one through his back. He didn't die from it, though. Apparently, um, horde zombies are tough. Which has been interesting. Although I am shooting from reasonably far away. That was an ambitious pill, but I was hoping the spread of the shotgun would do me some favors. Can I just go like, well, there we go. There we go. One down, two to go, and probably some more coming. They're just kind of having a cuddle in the corner. This boy should just take, oh, that's unfortunate. One more shot somewhere above the shoulders, and it should give me the kill that I'm after. Wait for it. Wait for it. I've... I just realized my problem. I've been using the front post sight. I like now, by the way, that they have the shotgun actually using, like, looking down the sights like they're aligned. I've been using the front post sight, not the actual Master, crosshairs. There we go. Turns out you use the crosshairs. You actually hit a couple of pelicans. That'll do me nicely. Now it's got you to contend with. Crosshairs again. Perfect. Got the second wave coming in from somewhere. This little, like, system here of just, like, hanging out on this raft or as they charge on in from somewhere where the hell are you guys can you make your way through the gaping open door please and come inside and have a bit of a uh, bit of a square dance with me i'd very much appreciate it now i'm just gonna tear down the joint instead there you go finally made it inside in all of your glory it was like patter about here and have a cheeky ch uh, cheeky squiz right through the top of your heart had apparently a shotgun bulletproof as well takes so long to reload i like it though like, getting rid of the blunderbuss uh, is fine if you're going to give me an assortment of other weapons. But also, like, making them tedious to use. Like, they're not OP, so you can, like, take whatever you want straight off the bat. Like, if I was down on the ground and... That's a shit shot. And having to actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these clowns, I'd be in a bit more trouble. But having it be so long is a good thing. Try and get a headshot, please. That'll do you nicely. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I heard an extra one. Can you make your way inside, please? I'm too much of a chicken to go down and fight you properly. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go see what's happening. Oh, that's why. You're on the wrong side of the fence. It's all quiet. It's all good. I think we're fine. I think we're good to go. Pat, pat, pat. I love that I have the drone. I can't believe that's in the Alpha 20. All right, last I heard, I thought that was getting delayed to Alpha 21. But now... I have a little friendly robot friend. Oh, we've, got, we've got to think of a good name for her. I mean, it's definitely her. It talks it talks with the chick's voice, so we need a feminine name for her, but I don't know. Someone come up with something better than I ever will. I just, I'm just so happy. I'm not alone in the apocalypse anymore. 
Oh, man. I can't wait to introduce you to Jen. You're going to love her. I wonder, actually. Remember, that's the reason there's the quiet mode? Oh, no. It's just, like, like quality of life, I suppose. Get rid of the whirring of the propellers. Because I was thinking, like, maybe, like, her talking does, like, decrease your stealth value. So you can't be stealthy when she's next to your shoulder chatting away and letting you know where everything is. Like, good cronk and bad cronk getting offended about spinach puffs. So... I don't know. If that's a mechanic, that's an awesome mechanic. I need to find you some wood or purple dye immediately. You need to be purple just like I need to be purple. I need everyone to know that you and I, we go together. I've opened up this little grill here because even though I don't have like a proper balcony, this is fine. It's like a nice little alcove with a view, which I'm all about. And some traditions need to be carried on forever. So give me you. I mean, normally I'd say take off your pants and jacket, but in this case, it's my skirt, and we'll do the same thing. Get our kid off, go to the window, and have a cheeky froth to celebrate. I feel like we have definitely earned that. What was this? What, there's like five zombies that showed up for the first horde? That's that's reasonable. That's only going to get worse, because I know that it does scale how many zombies come in per your game stage level, so that's only going to get worse. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about this. I am... Oh, I'm uh, I'm excited enough to pick up some radio signals. That is for damn sure. So I think that's a pretty good place to leave it. I am I am so, so happy with how that first day has gone. I, I'm actually over the moon about it. Already got the pipe shotgun, which I am just so tingly stoked about. Burned through most of my ammo, but... That's all right. Shit happens when you're fighting a Blood Moon Horde. And I've got my Whirly Girl over here. Have a good old spin in the corner, which I'm all about. Still need to get inside that uh, locked chest as well. But that's gone about as spiffingly as I really could have hoped for. So I'll have to come back. Oh, man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this series. And I hope you guys are too. Hope you'll enjoy joining me on this adventure into Alpha 20 and seeing what is in store for us. But I'll have to come back and continue this series in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.